there's more sound exposure to people. And we've been seeing this happening up until six months ago and it's just accelerated. So in the day in the life of somebody, you know, if I think of my kids, you know, they wake up, they got their, their headphones on when they're, when they're exercising in the morning, then they're on, then they're on um, video classes all day. And then they do the Netflix movie and then they're tired of hearing from their parents. So then they get their, um, you know, their ANC on cranked up and they're listening to God knows what kind of music they're listening to. Right. And so what happens is the total exposure over the day in the life. And again, um, this is compressed audio, meaning that the lows and the highs, everything's kind of at a certain loudness, whether it's a Netflix movie or, you know, streaming music. So, so the sound exposure is higher than we've seen before. There's some alarming statistics, one in six teens right now, one in six teens have hearing loss from, from uh, sound exposure. 5.2 million children um, have hearing loss. And when you start thinking about this in terms of people are living longer lives, that hearing loss is with them for the rest of their life. 85 plus year old people is the fastest growing population right now. So there's the sound exposure piece. The other thing with this trend is highlighting is the, the fact that people hadn't realized that they're on this hearing loss journey. And it is a journey. You start to lose your hearing in some point, five, seven, nine, ten years later, you might acknowledge that you truly have a hearing loss problem that you want to go see a professional about. They're, they're being highlighted the fact that they're on that hearing loss journey, um, primarily because of this triple whammy. First off, they're wearing masks, which muffle your voice and they muffle the person you're speaking with's voice. And it muffles it in the consonants, which is the area where you have the most trouble distinguishing, okay? Or there's plexiglass. When you do find yourself going to the drugstore or something, there'll be plexiglass up. That's again, attenuating or affecting the voice. The other thing is many of us might not be aware that we actually are becoming quite good lip readers. I remember my dad years ago would say, you know, I can't hear you unless I get my glasses on. There's some truth to that. A lot of us don't realize how much we depend on being able to see your face and your lips move to make those subtle distinctions between certain vowels. And so now that people are wearing masks, people are becoming more acutely aware of the fact that they're on this hearing loss journey. Um, there is good news. Um, there is good news on this, which is those that actually do seek a properly fitted hearing aid. Um, it does solve a lot of these problems. Um, so, you know, things like the Starkey Livio products have mask mode in them that is specifically tuned for that. And we use AI to actually do things to take a sampling of the environment and, and uh, optimize for that. But with regards to this trend, more sound exposure than people than we've seen before. And then those that are on the sound loss journey um, by the way, when you're trapped with family members in the home all day, and if you're a little bit hard of hearing that somebody hollers from you in the other room, there's no escaping it. Your kids, your parents, whomever it is, you know, in my house, you know, I have a little bit of hearing loss, right? They're not going to let me forget it. Dad, just put your hearing aid in. So yeah, those are the two main things I'd say.